actually tell what actually happened instead of just honoring people for complete destruction um, of our communities, of our lands, of our environment, of our identities, of our self-esteem. We need to really reclaim these spaces and call it out for what it is. I'm out here because we need to change. We need to understand that we can no longer celebrate these people, these, these people in history that did nothing but destroy, pillage, rape, and kill. And ripples of oppression that exist present day for Native people, people of color, uh, not white people in this country. It's just the legacy is so very clear. It's very much here. It's very much evident. Um, and so I really just don't see any other option for people who are aware to interrupt this kind of monotony. I'm here today with Capital Area Against Mass Incarceration's Arts in Action Collective. We really wanted to do an action in solidarity with Native people um, because we also see the colonization of this land and the effects that it's had on Native people as directly linked to what's happening today in this country with mass incarceration, police brutality, state violence, and as a woman of both African descent and Native descent, um, to me, it's really important to make these connections. We have a culture that glorifies uh, rape and genocide and oppression, and uh, oftentimes we have symbols of that oppression um, all around us. I know my history and how my people were forced to come here. Still in, in my occupation here in this land, I'm still here on Bolan land, and that was, it's interesting to, to know that um, you were forced into um, stealing from somebody else. Mm -hmm. And to be thinking about that, that should be at the forefront of, of our interaction. So we're starting here in our town, but these steps exist all over the community and we need to start challenging. We honor Native people today. No more Columbus Day! Decolonize your world. 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 Decolonize your world.